What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be showcasing the complete walkthrough for how to beat the newly added Axis Challenge Mode in the Wrath of the Machine Raid. Now what you're going to see in this video is going to apply to both Normal and Hard Mode for this encounter. However, the gameplay in the background is of course the hard mode Wrath of the Machine Raid. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to know is the rewards that you actually get for completing this challenge mode. Well, it's very similar, basically almost exactly the same as what you got for completing the Vosik challenge mode. For normal and hard mode, you're going to get a new emblem that looks pretty sweet. This is it right here. You're also going to, for hard mode, get another perfected ornament to spec out your hard mode raid gear. You're also going to get an exotic engram and some extra goodies are going to drop on both modes as well. And now let's move on to what you actually need to do to complete this challenge mode. Now remember, raid challenge modes are essentially extra things you can do to earn special rewards. If you do this improperly but still complete this encounter, you're going to get the normal hard or normal mode loot. You're not going to fail this encounter when challenge mode is on. Challenge mode utilizes the exact same mechanics, you just have to do certain things you may not otherwise need to do in order to complete it. So how do you complete this challenge mode? Well all you really need to do is utilize supercharges every time they're available. Alright guys, that's it for the guide, no I'm just kidding. Let's go into specifically how to utilize the supercharge mechanic for those of you who may not know because it's definitely an underused mechanic within the Wrath of the Machine Axis encounter. Now just before I get into the explanation, I do want to quickly say that I'm going to assume you guys know both the normal and hard mode mechanics for this encounter. If you don't, of course check out my original raid guides. On to the challenge mode. What you need to do to activate the supercharge is essentially the people who don't need to slam access need to slam their appropriate supercharge plates. So, once you lower the shields on Axis, he is of course going to teleport, and the person closest to him is going to have to slam his back to continue to the damage phases. However, the other people on the other sides of the map who are empowered are actually going to have the chance to supercharge their team, which is going to instantly fill everyone on the team's supers. So if Axis teleports to the right side, the person on the right with Empowered is of course going to be focusing on slamming Axis himself. The people with Empowered in the middle and left are going to look at their supercharged plate. Your supercharged plate is going to be the exact same three plates on the right, left, and middle that the servitors will make their way towards. So during Axis Phase 1 and during you know the beginning parts of the Axis boss, boss fight encounter, the servitors are going to try to get to these glowing red plates. Those are the exact same plates that you're going to supercharge on. So as I was saying, if he teleports right, the people in the middle and left look at those plates, and if you're in the middle and you see your supercharged plate glowing red, as you can see in the background gameplay right here, simply head to it, hold square or hold the exact same button that you hold to slam axis, and you're going to slam that plate and supercharge your team. Now, if you're a player who utilizes the supercharge mechanics often, this is likely to be a walk in the park for you. But if you're a player who doesn't, and in fact many players have never utilized the supercharge mechanic, you're really going to have to change your team dynamic. Firstly, you're really going to need to focus on what is going on. You're going to need to, when he teleports, basically stare to where he's teleporting, and as soon as you see him teleport to a certain side, as soon as Axis teleports to the left, you need to call it out, he's on the left side, and the people in the middle and the right need to immediately turn around and look at their supercharged plate, and if it's glowing, they need to haul ass and get there fast, because to supercharge effectively, you need to reach that glowing plate and slam it before the person slams on Axis' back. And we all know you don't have a lot of time to slam on Axis' back, so the people getting the supercharged plate need to, again, haul ass. 
This means that you're going to want to stand kind of halfway between where Axis teleports and where your supercharged plate is. In fact, you may need to be a little bit closer to your supercharged plate than you are to where Axis actually teleports to. If you are the person slamming on Axis's back, you may want to take like one extra second than normal, but you really can't dawdle around because if you fail that slam, you've basically failed this encounter. The good thing is that the supercharged plate will never be in the same area that he teleports to. So if he teleports to the right, the supercharged plate isn't also going to be right. Same with middle, same with left. So what you need to ensure in this encounter is that you have someone who is empowered right, left, and middle at all times. Now, this may sound obvious, but if you're coming off of a team, again, that doesn't use supercharges, I'm sure a lot of people are used to doing the thing where if Axis teleports right and no one is empowered right, that's fine. He's going to teleport somewhere else. But now with this supercharge mechanic, you will still need to have someone empowered on that right side where he is because when he teleports somewhere else, it could require you to slam that right plate to supercharge. So... Oh my goodness, I said the word supercharge so many times within the last few minutes. But in any event, in summary, all you need to do to complete the challenge mode is to have someone activate the supercharge within each of the damage phases. Every time he teleports, someone has to activate that supercharge. And upon doing so, when you kill Axis, you will complete the challenge mode. All this really entails is ensuring your team has one person left, one person right, and one person middle, who are empowered, and wherever Axis teleports, the two empowered players on the sides where he didn't teleport need to immediately look at their plate, and whatever plate is going needs to be reached, slammed, and supercharged before Axis himself is slammed. As long as you're activating these supercharges, everything else will go normally, damage him normally, and in fact, if you're doing this right, you're gonna get infinite supers. Remember that if you are doing this properly, you will be able to recharge your super constantly. There is no need to wait to tether him on the final damage phase. You can tether him every single phase, which is actually pretty awesome. And so guys, that is going to be it for how to complete the Axis Challenge Mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Now if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis, that's linked in the description down below as is my twitch channel and we're going to be doing hard mode run throughs and we may even be carrying people through this challenge mode pretty soon that is again linked in the description down below which you can follow again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day